The Budget Management Committee has met to resolve outstanding issues with government payments. Committee Chairman and Treasurer Ian Ling Staki said they need to address the late and declined government payments. Three main factors that contributed to the bouncing checks issue were identified. Ling Staki said over the last decade there has been an increasing but seemingly uncoordinated practice to double and triple check the authorization of payments made by government. More and more of the underlying documentation to authorized payments has had to be sent to both commercial banks as well as the Bank of PNG. Secondly, the updated Kina automated transfer system introduced by BPNG has modernized many elements of banking in PNG. The treasurer explained that checks used to take 14 days to clear. Now, if all increased documentation are not provided for clearance in two days, they are dishonored. And third, the meeting heard for the first time that the email from the Department of Finance that used to provide the necessary documentation within two days broke down since September 2020. According to advice tabled by the Deputy Governor of the Bank of PNG, it is the primary reason for bounced checks for the whole of the fourth quarter. The Treasurer said in the month of December 2020, government checks valued over 500,000 kina that were dishonored totaled 200 million. And of this, 74 million kina were rewritten but dishonored again. The Budget Management Committee meeting resolved to modernize the government payment system and was advised that the primary solution to ending bounced checks included adopting electronic transfers for all government payments. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.